Greg here at Photocrack and what I wanted to do was I just want to kind of do a quick overview of how I choose locations and times for for pictures for uh, Photocrack for our courses so what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get a picture of a particular location Lacte and I I'm I just want to decide if it's going to be a good location to maybe shoot an astrophotography shot with the Milky Way looking down the valley. So I'm in Google Earth here now at the moment and if you zoom all the way out what you can do is you can spin around and you can actually see that's the Milky Way in the background. So if I keep turning you can see that's one end. Keep spinning. Now we're up to the nebula looking really good and now oh, we're out there spinning around but there's the other end going down that way. Now I know this time of year we're not going to get a shot of the nebula during the night because that's passing by us during the day. But what I want to do is I want to see kind of roughly what time um, we need to be shooting down the valley to get a nice shot of the Milky Way. And where's the best place? So um, I kind of have an idea of the picture. So I'm going to zoom in here to this little green teddy bear looking for a hug. And I am going to go into Loch Tay. So this is Loch Tay here, also known as the Guinness Lake. And it's looking down a valley here now. It's looking down a beautiful valley. And there is a really dark lake with lovely contrast and uh, white sands. And we've got a nice kind of really contrasting hillsides. This is covered in forestry and this is really craggy and um, broken up rock and boulders and stuff. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go down and I'm going to just hold down uh, control. I'm just going just gonna to have a look around. And you can see this is looking north. And what I want to do is, I actually want to look down the other way. But you can see here, kind of nice kind of little bit of a U-shaped valley. Lovely lake and rivers running in and out. And what we want to do is we want to go over to the far side and spin around. So we're looking down the way that we want to. So this is kind of, I'm looking straight down the valley here. So this is good. And what I want to do is, I know I want to kind of set myself up roughly here on this hillside. Because I want to be looking down that way. And get in nice and close and what I can do is I can just go in and see I can have a quick you can actually have a quick look at these pictures and see what other people have shot so that's looking the wrong direction and um, this is kind of looking down so basically what we're looking to do is we're gonna get you know this is kind of the direction that we're going for I'm gonna see the Milky Way rising across here but we're gonna get down a little bit lower and um, not too low because we want to have um the lake just kind of we want to have enough depth in the lake that we get a nice reflection in Milky Way and uh, but not so high that we're 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 not looking through the valley. So if you can imagine maybe somewhere down around here um, is where we're looking for, um, even a little bit further down actually, um, maybe. So what we're gonna do is zoom in nice and close and using control, we can move around. So this is the view that we're going for. So what I want to do is I wanna get the, the Milky Way kind of coming across here maybe a bit of a reflection going on and we have kind of we have a river running in and we've got a road running in and it's 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 a really nice view and we've got as i said but this is really craggy and bouldery and this is um and this is covered in trees so it's kind of a nice contrast and hopefully just there just be a little bit of light kind of coming in from the milky way uh, into the valley but what we might do is we might even grab a second shot of the foreground just before sunrise and um, just kind of just get a bit of a glow on the landscape and then this is a really simple shot that we could overlay our Milky Way background or we could overlay our foreground here over our Milky Way background so what we want to do is we want to go into this tool here this is the show sunlight across the landscape tool so we, as I said we can use the slider to decide um, you know the time that we're, we're viewing so it's currently it's currently um, daytime here in Ireland this is yesterday and as you can see this is the way it looked last night so that is one end of the Milky Way there now at the moment and it was coming it was passing by if you can imagine it's passing by during the middle of the daytime and we can't see it but if we keep spinning around we're due to get the other end of the Milky Way and that should come up during the night um, and there we go so that was passing by us oh that was passing by us this morning um, this morning around kind of just after 3 a.m. was a good time um, so so 4, 4 a.m. there this morning we would have had the Milky Way in a nice nice location we would have had a nice bit of a reflection there and some more of the stars and then what we could have done was we could have waited now you can see that bit of a glow that's starting to come up there at 5 a.m. now that's going to interfere even at 4 4.40 that's going to interfere with the with the light that we're seeing from the Milky Way. We're probably going to pick up some stray light at this stage as well. But what we want to do is we would like to 
make sure that we've got a really nice dark sky. So what we want to do is, you know, we would have been shooting at around 416, wouldn't have been, that would have been kind of our cutoff point there. And then see that glow that's just coming in there. That would have been maybe even a bit like, maybe somewhere around there, would have just, there would have been a nice bit of a warm glow. So you're talking an hour between the two pictures, not too long to wait. And um, even the potential for a nice little kind of a, a time lapse there of the warm glow coming up in the sky. So what we want to do is say, tonight we want to look at tonight we want to have a quick look and see if it is suitable so during the day we can see that the the shadows are starting to creep in across here at about five o'clock now with all the nice detail and stuff in here that'll be kind of a poor time to shoot um because we're gonna lose out on a bit of that kind of detail and the sun is after kind of setting it's going down and that's all in shadow so whereas we get some nice kind of you know you would have got nice textures here you're not gonna you're not gonna get any textures there that's gonna be pure shadow so we're gonna keep on going and we're gonna see there's kind of that's you know we're starting to get a nice sunset there now and it's you know the shadow is more evenly distributed now here at nine o'clock the shot the shadows are more evenly distributed so if you were to get a sunrise shot or a sunset shot here a bit of a glow in the sky and this would be more even um in terms of your exposure um, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep clicking through and see what time the Milky Way is going to be up at tonight so here it is coming into frame now at the moment moving across and it should be a little bit later so 4.16 4.40 so 4.40 in the morning it's there now and it's it's kind of it's not in a bad position but we know that's that's roughly around you know the, the sunrise is going to be kicking in at about that stage so Maybe about four sixteen. It's a little bit further back, but it's 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 not a bad position. We get a bit of a reflection going on. It'll be nice taking up a good a good position in our in our image, and yeah, it's nice and dark now at the moment. So I know four sixteen is a good time tonight or tomorrow morning to get a picture down here from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click forward and see what time we're going to get that bit of a glow in, and I'd be happy to go with kind of. Now remember the day is getting four minutes longer because it's coming into the summertime every day. So we, or so what we've got is we've got a couple of extra minutes every morning. I reckon just a bit before five o'clock, maybe four forty. So if we went for somewhere just between, so we could shoot between. Now remember we're going to be taking nearly half second long exposures, maybe twenty four second long exposures. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get grab a few frames and we're going to work between maybe. I mean, we could start shooting around about kind of three, about three forty-five, three fifty, and we'll keep on taking exposures until maybe about four, maybe about four twenty-three. So that gives us an opportunity to get some nice long, you know, some nice long exposures and get some shots and perfect it and get it all really nice and sharp. And what we can do is just maybe wait then another kind of twenty or thirty minutes, and then start taking another couple of shots. And what we can do is we can use them for our landscape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go take those shots and we're gonna have a look and see what way they turned out. But I hope that is of use to you when you're planning your trips. And you know, it's a great way to pick your location, choose your time and make sure you're guaranteed a result in a shot. I'm gonna be putting more videos, more tutorials into the blog. Um, we're running courses in Ireland where we visit tons of beautiful locations and we go through landscape photography tips we got your sunrise, sunset, astrophotography, and just kind of help you make it, you know, get the most out of your day and have as much crack as possible. So www.photocrack.com. And yeah, have a look, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, and feel free to comment and like, um, and follow and subscribe if you like this video. So 